Well, this is it, old bud. I gotta get on out and feed my horses. I have to let you off here now. Take care.
Fine, thank you. Finest chops we've had in some time, Miss Fontaine. Gonna be anything else? No, thank you. <coughs> be with you in a minute, Miss Evie. There you are. Morning, John. You're out mighty early this morning, Miss Evie. What are you gonna have? Uh, half a pound of hamburger, please. Coming right up. Sure hope things don't go no higher. I can't hardly afford this. There you are. Be right with you, Miss Fontaine. smoking pipe. you like that. There you go. Now, Miss Edie, anything else for you? Thank you. 
Coffee in a minute, Kevin. Just forget about last night. Everything's all right, I promise. I won't let anything happen to you. Don't do this to me, Kevin. You're being spiteful. Good morning, Robert. Is something wrong? Oh, no, ma'am. I just wanted I just to... made some coffee. Come in. No, I really better be getting on to school since I feed Caesar. Oh, We're already late. I know. That's just it. Miss Haberman will make a big... Oh, I'm sure Mrs. Haberman will be very understanding, Robert. Yes, ma'am. Miss Fontaine? Yes, Robert? What I want to talk to you about? Yes, Robert. I wanted to know if I could ride Caesar at some of the calf roping trials at Colonel Martin's. You're really quite fond of Caesar, aren't you, Robert? Yes, ma'am. Caesar. So are we. Yes, ma'am. Calf roping. A horse has to be trained for that, doesn't he, Robert? Yes, ma'am. Colonel Martin's. He has not been trained for calf roping. Oh, he's. He's really good at it. How long has this been going on? Ever since I've been working with him. I wasn't aware you were that close. Yes, sir. It's like I could see right into his head. He knows just what I want him to do. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. I'm being real careful with him, ma'am. We'll see, Bobby. I'll speak to my husband. I gotta be getting on. trying to do with Caesar? Kevin, I want to talk to you about this now. Kevin, you're 
giving me a headache. She's gonna go for it. You just wait and see. Yeah. Now eat up. We gotta toughen you up. I'll be back this afternoon. You just keep thinking about them calves. Yes? Leslie, Dr. Emerson. Good afternoon. Leslie, I hope I didn't disturb you. I was just about to bathe. Then I won't keep you. I was a little concerned. You missed your appointment again yesterday. Kevin and I went for a walk, Doctor. My leg is perfectly fine. And your headache? You're not a psychiatrist. Are you, Dr. Emerson? Sorry, do we have to go into this now? No, we can save it until next week, if you prefer. Leslie? Oh, all right, I'll be there. Look, I'll be out that way next week. Why don't I stop by your place? Yes, of course. 2.30? Yes. Fine. Goodbye. What do you think you're doing here? I hitched a ride, seeing as you haven't been by to see me lately. You ain't supposed to be here. Well, I'm not going to walk back. She sure must be rich. I don't know, because I never asked. Well, what's wrong with you? Don't you don't want anyone else around here. I'm busy, Susan. Kevin? Kevin, we have another visitor. Did you do this? Yep. It's beautiful. Would you fix my saddle like this? Well, this one's kind of special. You and your darned horse act like you own him. Maybe I do. What? Deep down inside where it really counts, maybe I do. Anything I can do to get that horse for real, I will. <laughs> Go on and laugh at me. I'll get him. Of course, once I do, I'll have time to come see you like I used to. Probably wouldn't. But you better. Sure, I will. Let's go, Susie. Give me a kiss. What? Give me a kiss. Susie. Come on, be serious. We can't mess around here. Why not? Because she might come out and catch us in the short rows. <laughs> you want to try? Come on. I'm going to get you out of here before you get me into trouble. Susie, come on, let's go. Come on.
Will you come see me tonight? No. Get in. Why not? Because I'll probably be busy here. Let's go.
talk about Kevin. Someone has to. You won't. Why? He's too much a part of your life to be ignored, Leslie. You were very close, weren't you? You and Kevin. Even as children. All we had was each other. Of course we were close. Perhaps unnaturally so. This bond between you at least for you, is becoming unhealthy. Unhealthy? What do you know about unhealthy? You weren't there when she walked us into that room with four closed coffins. We were little children. Our parents were dead. Who else was there to love? I know that you didn't get along with her very well, Leslie, but there was your Aunt Fowler. And father. And father, indeed. You never knew her till she was nearly dead. You never knew her in her pride. Leslie. Look at her. Look at her. You're ten years old. I'm a 60-year-old spinster. Don't. Is my cane. It is for scaring children. Don't. I don't like children in my house. They are nasty, naughty things. Don't. What are you looking at? Don't. What have you been up to now? Don't. How did you get so dirty? Don't. Don't you ever wash your hands? Leslie? Everything was filthy for her. She tried to ruin the only love we ever had. She couldn't. We wouldn't let her. And can she now? There is no now. Does Kevin agree with that? Kevin is gone. 
That's where I've been all this time. Looking for him. Oh? And the Kevin who lives with you now? Get out. That's no answer, Leslie. Get out. You need to face this, not run away from no. it. No. I think perhaps you need to go back to the hospital again. Just for a while. Get out. Can I talk with Kevin? You can, Doctor. You see, I don't think Kevin wants to talk to you. Ever. for today, please. Ma'am? I said that will be all for today. But I haven't even started. He hasn't been fed or brushed. You will walk. please leave now. Ma'am, I think it's my job. I know how to feed a horse. You come back tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. This is Leslie Fontaine. Let me speak to Colonel Dutton. Quickly, please. Well, I'm not here right now, but... Now, you tell him that Caesar will not be participating in any calf roping trials.
my darling demanding pet. Come in. Would you like a drink? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a drink. Do you like bourbon and water? Yes, ma'am. Coming right up.
You are healthy, aren't you, Robert? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did you come here tonight? I want to know why you changed your mind about me riding Caesar. I beg your pardon? You said I could ride him. Oh, I said I would think about it. I guess I'd better be getting on. Take off your coat. Make yourself comfortable. I really gotta be getting on. Robert. My mind could be changed again. Stop riding Caesar, ma'am. I didn't know what to do when Colonel Martin said you called. I want to ride that horse awful bad. How bad? First, I got real mad, and then... Ma'am? Your drink? This Fontaine? Oh, no. Could I have my coat? It's cold outside. I'm doing this for you, Caesar. This Fontaine? Ma'am? with a girl in a bedroom? Well, yes, ma'am, but... Tell me about it. Ma'am? Tell me. Well, it ain't hardly a thing to talk about. Bobby. Where do you go? A big part. Where do you go? Bozier City. <laughs> Where in 
Mercer City. Claire's place. And Clara? Oh, it's not Clara. It's Twinkle that I... Yes? Well, she works there, you know, and I... I wonder you don't want me. It's only $25. How much time do I get? How much time do you need? Uh, let's make it $15. $22.50. Yeah. How about $17.50? How much money do you have in both pockets? How much money in both pockets? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've got $20, period. Now, uh, what have you got? I got myself a deal. Well, let's get it on. Betty, 
you doing here anyway? I'm looking for a specific person. Well, I ain't got that many. Her name is Twinkle. I don't think she'd be interested. You do this before? It's not for me. <laughs> I it never is. Now, well, May here. She's more down your line. Twinkle won't take care of you like I can, honey. She was recommended. It's for a friend. A house call? That's expensive. And in advance. I have the money. How much? For how long? I'm not sure. Wanka! Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. If it wasn't so far from my work, you know what I mean? Well, are we going to have drinks first? Perhaps later with Kevin. Well, then you won't mind if I smoke a bit. Not at all. It's nothing personal. It's just that uh, I'm a lot better if I have a little something to get me off. You know what I mean? You'll be more comfortable waiting in this Okay, just what kind of a game is this? I ain't a freak, you know. No? No. And I don't go in for that three-way business, either. Neither do I. <sighs> Look, I already told you. Not with women, either. Kevin will be here soon enough. I just want to talk to you for a few minutes before he comes. Do men find you attractive because of your body? These. Of course, I got a lot going for me in other departments, too. I'm sure you're extremely talented. Do you enjoy being a prostitute, Twinkle? I must. I've been at it long enough. Don't you find that men are physically unclean? <laughs> you mean dirty? Yes, dirty. <laughs> well, most of them are, I guess. Doesn't it bother you? I mean that men are dirty. Look, you start getting choosy in this business, pretty soon you're out of business. Like Ma used to say. It all comes off in the wash. Is that so? Yeah. It's like everything else. You get dirty, and then you wash. Look, are you going to get him in here or not? I don't have all night. Of course, if you want me to go get him, I'd be glad. It's time to get ready. I'll get Kevin.
your cabin, huh? Well, come on. I've heard a lot about you. Got me all worked up. Just wait for you. <laughs> Look, I don't go in for no whip stuff. Just you is enough. Do you want to do this or not? I ain't going to wait forever. Oh, I get it. The shy type. <laughs> well, come on, the lights are out. Oh, to hell with it. You're just as kinky as your old lady. One's enough, but two is too many. <laughs> It. You can keep your damn money. Getting out of here. Put some off your own.
This is Leslie Fontaine. Could you come to the house immediately? It's Kevin. He's hurt. His arm is cut. the executor of my will. Do you have any objections? No. Good. This Aunt Fowler's money at any rate. You remember my Aunt Fowler, Doctor? Yes. For all those years, I had to take care of her. And all for that one afternoon. The afternoon of my 16th birthday. I'd come in from school and bathed. To put on my robe. I heard the door open behind me. to speak, but he put his finger to his lips to stop me. Aunt Fowler would never permit us to visit each other in our rooms. He held his other hand behind him. I knew my birthday present was in that hand. Our dress we'd seen together at the ladies' aid rummage sale. Say 
goodbye to me. And you felt that you'd been left all alone without Kevin? No. With Kevin. Always with Kevin. Of course you couldn't know that. You came here no more than absolutely necessary. I came when you called. Perhaps I didn't call often enough. Tell me, Doctor. Do you find me sexually desirable? Do you? Don't you want to touch me, make love to me? Is that what you want? This is your big chance, Doctor. The patient is willing. to let me get you out of here. Inspector, filthy. We don't want you with us. I want you to stay here. I'll be right back. I'm not leaving this house. be going. If only I'd gotten back a little earlier. She'd have done it sooner or later. You know about that? Small town, Doc.
forgotten how beautiful this place is. A nice place to be dead. Could have done was bury them for me. 